welcome back to our channel. In this video, we have a Shinkansen guide, and we're going to tell you how you can ride and enjoy a Japanese bullet train. So stick to the end and find out everything you need to know. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Dustin. Hi, I'm Akina, and here we are with Japan Questions Answered channel. Today we are going to talk about Shinkansen, as known as bullet train.、Mm. And you've taken Shinkansen by now, right? And how do you like them? They're awesome. I mean, my first time I came to Japan, I rode one. We've been riding them a lot. They're cool. They're they're one of the best ways to travel around,、mm. especially the mid-range destinations. Uh, mid distances, but it's just very awesome. It kind of feels like you're on a jet airplane, <laughs> even though you're actually just on the train. There's certain things about it. First of all, it's so smooth. Second of all, they have like snack women that go around. It's almost like a flight attendant or something, <laughs> but for a train. And they're just very,、uh, I don't know. They're very punctual. It's just very nice. Yeah, it's really convenient because、um, one of the reasons, or、oh, main reasons. Is that you don't have to go through a security check, so you don't have to, you know, dig around and you try to. That's good, yeah. Try to get your lappy out, or like you have to get your smartphone scanned and stuff. That it's, you know, that time-consuming. For Shinkansen, you don't have to secu- do security check, so you can just show up and just get on. It's awesome, especially if you're arriving like I came by train usually to the to the main station where the Shinkansen is. So you just go from the train that you just took, and then you walk into the Shinkansen station area. So it's a very easy transition, you know. You're basically still—I、yeah. feel like you're still in the same train station almost. Yeah, and if you take one of those main ones, let's say like one from Tokyo to Kyoto, then they usually runs like every ten minutes. Yeah, they're going nonstop. It's、yeah. like clockwork. It's really amazing, actually, to stand at that platform and just see them coming and going. So uh, sometimes uh, shinkansen are pretty useful for kind of longer distance too.、Mm. For example, Hiroshima, which is pretty far away, and it's about、um, I guess four hours from Tokyo Station, which is kind of a long ride, isn't it? Four hours on the shinkansen, yeah, that's kind of long. Yeah, so you might want to think about like you know flying down there, but then the point is. The airport in Hiroshima is actually kind of far away from the city center, which is about an hour by a bus.、Mm. So that will consume another hour plus security check and the time you go to the airport. So it kind of cancels out. Yeah, and、uh, it's just cool to arrive in the center because usually these shinkansens do take you pretty much in the center of the city, right? Yeah. So it's kind of cool just to arrive and just be there. Like when you take the Shinkansen to Kyoto, you just you're there, you know, you're in the downtown city center. Yeah, and as, not for me really, but maybe for those who are really tall or who has long legs like you do, it's probably more comfortable to travel in Shinkansen, right? It is. I mean, the leg room is very big in the Shinkansen. It feels like a luxury seat you got there. <laughs> You know, you have a charger. If you're sitting by the window, you have a charger there. You have a clothing hanger by the window.、Um, you have a constantly good view. Like if you're on an airplane, once you get to a certain height, you can't really see too much anymore. But it's a cool way to see that、um, you can see the cityscape, the countryside from the Shinkansen. That's very cool. And the leg room is very nice. And、um, speaking of the view, I. Guess you want to have a view of Fuji, don't you? If you are traveling towards west from Tokyo, definitely、right? got to get that Mount Fuji view. Yeah, then you have to get seat E. So seat E is on the right side of the train, facing the window, the window seat. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. And then what about coming back? If you're coming back from Kyoto, you also get E because the train just you know doesn't turn around; it just go like. It just re- yeah, it just reverses direction. So still seat E. Yeah, and if you get another window seat, which is A, which is also good, it offers some nice、uh, sea view. Yes, you can see the ocean. So it might be good to take one side of the train on your way to somewhere west, 
and then just try the other side on the other way coming back just to get two different views yeah now as far as actually buying your tickets uh, as long as you're not traveling in a super busy time of year like a Japanese holiday you can pretty much just go to the station and buy your tickets then and you should be able to get yourself a seat within you know 10 minutes or so like she mentioned there's trains going all the time so uh, when we went recently on our trip to Shizuoka we basically took our train, went to um, JR Station near Tokyo, Tokyo Station. We entered near the Shinkansen area. We followed the signs with the Shinkansen icon. And there's two basic areas to buy tickets, right? Mm -hmm. There's a line, which I think I had used my first times getting the Shinkansen, which is okay. People can help you face to face. And I think those staff usually speak English. But the line can be quite long sometimes. And recently when we went to Shizuoka, you actually used the ticket machine, right? Yes. Uh, these machines have English, Chinese, Korean. So like if you can read these languages, these are useful too. And you usually can cut out the queuing time. Yeah. And they accept credit cards. So oh, that'll they do. be, yeah. That's awesome. But um, yeah, it was pretty cool. I was watching her do it. It seems pretty straightforward. The only thing I wondered about was there's two types of seats, right? There's the reserved and unreserved. Mm. So the difference is pretty easy. And, and it's about if you have a seat reserved or not. Okay. For the non-reserved seat, there are some carriage for non-reserved. And you can just take one of those seats in the carriage. Yeah, it's kind of just like seat yourself for that yeah. non-reserved. It's kind of sometimes tricky because sometimes it's the train's super busy and you might not be able to get a seat. So you might have to stand. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but I mean, even you might have to stand or if you're with someone, you might not be able to sit next to your yeah, partner. Yeah, it's basically the same as the other normal trains. So it's kind of risky, but usually there's more of those available mm -hmm. than the reserved. Usually the reserved with the specific seats, people have taken them up usually before the unreserved one. Or the price is different too, right? Yeah, the prices are different, obviously. The reserved one is usually more expensive than non-reserved one. But depending on the train, like uh, the speed of the train, the prices might be the same. And speaking of speed of the train, that's a good thing you mentioned. So how is there different speeds for a Shinkansen? I thought a bullet train is a bullet train. Yeah, it's, it's actually not about the speed, but the stops they make. Mm. So that kind of affects the speed after all. So let's say, for example, if you're traveling to Kyoto, if you get like JR pass, yeah, was it? That's the rail pass that a lot of tourists get. JR rail pass, yes. Yes, the rail pass doesn't actually allow you to get on the fastest train, so that's kind of the downside of the pass. So you can get a Shinkansen. You can get, the but Shinkansen, it's not but the express one. Yeah. So it might be stopping at more cities Stop, yes. on the way. That means more time to travel. But if you get the express one, I think it stops at like what? Like Tokyo Station, Shinagawa Station, Shin Yokohama, Shin Yokohama, Nagoya, yeah. Shin Osaka, then Kyoto. So there's a big gap between Yokohama and uh, Nagoya. Nagoya. It's like just a straight shot. It's going fast. Yeah, it's like a one hour train ride without any stop. And it passes all Shizuoka Prefecture. Excellent. So, yeah, so that you can travel faster. Now, when we were taking our trip, which was westbound, it's in the direction of Kyoto, but we only went to Shizuoka, which is quite close to Tokyo. I was confused when we were getting on the trains because there was like two different stations to go to. There's like two different, there's mm. basically like westbound trains. Yeah. And then there's like northbound trains. So which train, like what was the name of the train side we went on to, to the west? The one we went was called Tokaido Shinkansen, okay. which goes to the west. Then we have another Shinkansen to the north or like kind of towards to, you know, Niigata area or like the other side of Japan, uh -huh. which are like Tohoku Shinkansen goes up uh -huh. to the north and like Hokuriku Shinkansen, which goes to the other part, like the other side of Japan. Got it. So once you buy that ticket and you have it in hand, 
it basically has most of the information you need. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have like which station you want to go to, right? Yeah. So the ticket shows which train you are going to take with number. Yeah. And it shows also the time the train is leaving and arriving and the seats. And if the you, car number. Yeah, if you, so you got reserved one. You look at that ticket, right? You're yeah. like, okay. You figure out which station you go. Do you go the westbound one or the north-ish bound side? Okay, you go in there. Then you look at the train name, name and number of that train. You look at the screen. Um, it's going to show the most recent trains that are going to be leaving soon. So if your train's leaving soon, then it'll show on there which train number is going to which platform number. Then does it say the platform number on the ticket or not? No. Yeah, so you have to check that screen to see the latest information. But um, yeah, once you figure out, once your train's getting to leave soon, then it'll say um, the platform number. And then you can go to that platform number, then you got the car number. There's signs on the platform to say which car number you, you're you standing at. So you walk in the direction, say your car number was 13. You walk over to that one. When your train arrives, then you walk into the train and uh, you go to your seat number. Yeah. Now, if your train station is like a terminus where the train is starting or ending, then the train will just be waiting for you there. Mm -hmm. But if you're going, if you're starting at any other place, which is not the starting points, the trains arrive and go quick. Okay? Yeah, it's only like a matter of yeah. a minute. So you got to be ready, like in advance for that train when it arrives. It's only going to be at the station for a minute, basically. So the train arrives, people get on it real fast. It doesn't wait around for anybody. So be ready to get on your train as soon as it's arriving, you know. And you also have to be ready to get off of it when you're yeah. leaving that train. So you set an alarm on your phone or something, and it's even going to say there's a screen inside the train that tells you, like, when's the next stop. It's in Japanese and English. So it'll definitely tell you, and you just got to get off, because you do, do not want to miss your train, and you do not want to <laughs> miss your stop. If you miss your stop... Then you'll be like miles away. <laughs> yeah, you'll be on that train for a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. so the train will let you know in advance yeah. that the train is going to arrive at the station soon, like let's say uh, maybe five minutes, four minutes. Right. So just get ready, just don't ignore the bell yeah. and just. Get your bags off too. A lot of, you'll see a lot of the Japanese people, first of all, they queue up for the train when it's coming, but then when you're on the train, they're queuing up like with their bags and stuff. They're already ready standing before the train comes to a stop. They're ready to get off that. So if you got some baggage and stuff, don't be the guy that's waiting. Oh, the train arrived. Okay, let's get our stuff, honey. <laughs> no, you got to get that stuff off ahead of time. So we talked about practical aspects now. So what about the fun aspects? Yeah, so if you want to really enjoy this train ride to its maximum, you should probably bring some food and alcohol on. You don't have to bring alcohol, but you gotta bring some snacks, some drinks. And when you're in the train station, they actually have some specialized shops. They have shops that sell souvenir snacks, which are called omiyage. Um, you might wanna get those, but that's more of a Japanese custom. But you might be able to find like localized or local snack or special Kit Kat kind of thing. So. That's true. Yeah, when we were in Shizuoka, which is well known for its wasabi, we got some wasabi Kit Kats. Wasabi. So yeah, you can get some localized foods, which is cool. You don't have to do that though, but if you want to get some actual food food, they've got these things called Eki Ben, which basically means like a uh, Eki... Uh, bento box. Bento, yeah. Eki Bento box. It's like station food box and they have these pre-made foods which you can buy some of them are actually quite high quality so if you want to just check it out before your train comes assuming you have some time then yeah that's a good thing to do get yourself an ecky bin get yourself some alcohol right yeah it's it's really uh one of the fun of shinkansen because those ecky bin usually offers like some uh specialty from the area mm. Like the one we got was Tokaido Shinkansen Ekibe and it had some specialities from each areas of the line goes 
yeah, like a, a few cities along the Tokaido line, mm -hmm. they had special foods from there. It was pretty good, actually. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you don't have to get alcohol, but it just feels good. You have that tray there. You know, it's very nice with the little tray you pull down, just like on an airplane. You got your Eki Ben, you got your booze. <laughs> you can sit, relax, drink, and enjoy the smooth ride. And the view. And you don't have to worry about bringing utensils or napkins because it usually comes with the bento box. Right. And some of the bento boxes are super cool that it can heat up and stuff. Really? Yeah. That's high tech. <laughs> yeah. It's a self heating bento box right yeah, there. Some, and some bento boxes are really popular and you might not be able to get. <laughs> but. Well, the pro tip I want to put in as my input is that. Whatever amount of alcohol you think you should bring, just try to bring three times as much as you would think you need, you know what I'm saying? Just to be safe. <laughs> and yeah, then uh, if you feel you want to get more, then you can always ask the lady on the train yeah. selling stuff too. They don't come quite so often though, mm -hmm. so you don't want to be uh, beholden to them. You want to have it on deck. <laughs> you, know, you don't need to have three times, maybe two times as much. And last of all, we'll just give you some etiquette tips. Yeah, I did mention bring alcohol, but just like anywhere else in Japan, uh, you want to try to minimize how much you're being loud, being outstanding. You want to still keep it quiet. You know, you can have fun, but uh, you want to keep it down a notch. You know, this isn't really a party train per se. <laughs> Now, also, you can't smoke on a Japanese train, right? Yeah, there will be some dedicated area to smoke, but other way. Other than that, then you can't smoke. Wait, there is a dedicated spot to smoke on the train? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't smoke, but if I did, nice. And there's another etiquette. Well, you're traveling, when you're traveling in Japan, and if it was the first time to take Shinkansen, you might want to take a selfie, but uh, you have to be really careful about the selfie stick use. If the selfie stick is too close to the Shinkansen, then that's really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, so like even if you have to have a selfie, then just try to a bit farther down, maybe. And the staff that are at that platform, they don't like you to get too close, even though there's like a wall and stuff. If you get too close to the train, especially when it's arriving, like they'll yell at you. So it's, it's because the train is really fast and there will be air pressure coming. Okay. So if you think, even if you think it's far enough, it's not far enough sometimes, the air pressure kind of, you know, pull you closer to the uh, train. That's especially true when you, yeah, she's talking about when you're at a non like main station, if you're at a local station, because I've been at one of those stations where an express train was just going by, not stopping. And man, it's like crazy. <laughs> it is literally, it's like a bullet the size of a train. Yeah. AKA a bullet train is going past your face. It's so loud and fast. Yeah, I could see how that would be dangerous. Mm. So, just in general, yeah, they don't want anyone doing like, hey, bro, like, let's get a selfie. They don't want you doing that. You、yeah. gotta be kind of、uh, civilized. Yeah. There'll be a yellow line, so you try to, you just have to、yeah. step off. The train. Yeah, be behind the yellow line,、yeah. especially when the train's arriving. By the way, if you're planning your own trip to Japan and you want your personalized tips or advice directly from us, feel free to check out our Patreon link down below. We actually have a specialized tier where we give a specialized consultation directly to you. We have a one on one chat session on Skype, and we just give you a general plan that is catered to you. So, I think you'll like that a lot. Check out our link down below. And if you want to learn more tips about traveling in Japan, feel free to check out our other videos. We got a video about the private onsen with the Fuji view, highly recommended. And we got a video about the best time to visit Japan. We got those links down below. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching this, this video, video, everybody. Why, Why don't, don't you leave a comment? comment? Let, Let us know what, what you think. think. Thanks. Thank you.